Welcome to Marriage and Life Stories with Kansime, and I am Kansime. This is a, a show that is aiming at enriching your lives, and I draw my sharing from the experiences I've had over the years as a mother of adult children, as a wife of 31 years so far, as a teacher and as a counselor. We discuss parenting, marriage, health and, li and good life, and life stories related topics on this channel. I call you to like, to subscribe, and to give a comment so that we can enrich our lives together. Well, today we are discussing a, a very sensitive topic, and uh, we are not even doctors, but we are discussing from that layman's perspective. And the topic for today is uh, the impact of special needs children, and we are looking specifically at autistic children, uh, mentally and physically disabled children, their impact on marriages and career. And we are going to make special emphasis on those two, looking at how women survive, how mothers survive the stress that comes with this uh, condition that befalls us. With me to discuss this topic is uh, Miss Daisy, Mrs. Daisy Muchurezi, uh, welcome, Daisy, and Mrs. Jessica Tshemerire. And we look forward to a very healthy discussion, and we pray that it is going to be very helpful to the relatives who have these children as they give support to the parents who are uh, the parents of these uh, children with autism and other special needs. Daisy, introduce yourself to the viewers uh, and... Uh, and then after you, Jessica. Thank you very oh. much, uh, Kansime. Uh, hello, viewers. Uh, as she has said, I'm Daisy Mshulezi. I am a wife and a mother. I also have run a nursery school for um, children who are below the age of uh, eight. And I have also um, had some experience working with uh, children in difficult circumstances, uh, like those who uh, were affected by the war in northern Uganda. So um, perhaps I will be able to give something in this you discussion. You are the right person. That is why you are right there in the center of it. <laughs> Jessica, talk to the viewers. Jessica, <coughs> Tfemerewe, a mother, a wife. Yes. Welcome. Thank Welcome, you. both Thank of you. you. Now, I will give a brief intro. Paraphrased. It's, it's a paraphrase. Not like, because I'm not being a medical expert, so I will not go into the medical bits of it. Now, I have had research, I've read about a research that says 80% of these uh, children, uh, the marriages where children are autistic or special needs children, they break up, 80% of them. The marriages break up, they divorce, or if they don't divorce, they stay in those homes bearing each other and actually emotionally separated. Now, the conditions that we are going to put specific emphasis on today is autism, mental and... Uh, one is autism, then the second one is the mental and physically disabled children. Okay? Physically disabled. Now, autism is an anxiety disorder. You know, a child is too anxious and they have like peaks of emotions. They are either too high or too low. And they act in manner that is very unpredictable. Mm. And uh, it is basically as a result of the neurological huh? mm. neurons, the, the, the connections with the brain and the entire body system. Now, the moment there is a disorder in that, autism is activated. All right? So, Autism is that condition that you cannot say you will contain as a, as, as a mother, that you can contain and manage alone. And then physical disability is either the child was born without a leg, or maybe because of polio, the child has lost the leg, the limbs. Or the child is not able to, does not have the limbs, or has lost part of the, basically, they are disabled, they cannot help themselves hundred percent. And then the mentally challenged children, their brain has had a problem. 
and so they cannot uh, they may not behave mentally as the average children and so let's look at those conditions what are the impact of those conditions on the children and i'll begin with daisy <coughs> thank you very much uh, can see me um Wow, uh, autism, um, uh, children with disability, I think the impact on the child, mm. uh, for some it's very severe mm -hmm. because it's like life stops at a certain point in time mm. and they remain at that position and uh, I think the families who have these children, uh, I think we have seen different families, some mm -hmm. will encourage this child, mm -hmm. some will really uh, try to get the child to you know, live in a normal way mm -hmm. as much as possible. Well, the other extreme is families who reject the child mm. or you know close them behind some some doors and just wish they didn't have that child at all. So the impact wow. on on disability on children, I think the 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 environment around them, the people around them, mm. can make or break the child uh, who is experiencing this uh, mm. this uh, special need. Wow. Yeah. I I have had a, a story of where uh, the couple had the children. One was autistic. The other second one was mentally challenged. Mm. And so they struggled with this. They closed the children behind the scenes. They didn't talk about it. They didn't look for any support. I, I think they even blamed each other yeah. for, for the, the children, how they have turned up. And in this case, it was a lady who blamed the man mm. and says, in your family, you have all this. And eventually, she left the marriage and and went away. Mm. I have not followed up to know how the, the man is managing, mm. but it can be a nightmare. Jessica, tell us, should there be a blame game? What do you think causes this autism and uh, the, the physical and mental disability? Why shouldn't we blame each other when such a circumstance happens? Uh, thank you, Grace. Of course, whatever happens, happens when God is aware that something is going to happen. Right, right. So if it happens, accept what God has given you. Right. And, and, and uh, when you were getting married, there are those vows, vows you right. said, mm. in God, in bad, in everything. Mm -hmm. So if this child has come, that is a child God has given you as a gift. Let mm. me interject, Jessica. These days, I have seen young couples make their own <laughs> vows. Mm -hmm. And so when they come to that point of saying, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, guess what I had one person say? <laughs> she said, for better, for better, <laughs> for richer, for richer. She, you know, <laughs> like she did right. say, for better, for oh, worse. Right. She just said, <clears throat> for better, for better. When she came at that point of saying, for richer, for poor, she's like, for oh. richer, for richer. We looked and kept quiet. And we knew that if worse comes or if poor comes, she'll be gone. She will fly <laughs> through the window. Yes. <laughs> so if something like that has come in, right. mm. sit down as parents, talk about it, mm. and see how you can handle. Mm. And it has to be both of you. Mm. Right. You have to sit down and agree mm. and see how you move with this child yes. forward. This child should be loved, like Daisy mm. said, mm. like any other child. Actually more than the other ones that are able mm. because there is something that the person cannot do for himself mm. so you have to put in this extra effort yes. to show that we are with to you in what you're going through mm. otherwise if you just leave her then she will get depressed mm. as they grow old mm. of course they start realizing that they are not like others yes. and that one can depress, depress them i also look at uh, the parents if one parent leaves the other, mm. then one will be stressed. Right. You can imagine handling an autistic child, like you described, mm. the, their character, either high mm. or very low. Mm. So they need the support of both parents or even other relatives. They can even be very friendly. Yes. Right. And then at the next time they are throwing down Violent. everything. Mm. You shared with us a, a, a story that you had at some point of how uh, this lady was suffering with a child. Can you share it with yes. us? Yes, I have a friend who had an autistic child. So what she did, she would alternate with her husband mm. to do the caring. Mm. If this time it's her, then the next time she also gets off the The long rest. time share sessions out of the home. Yes, mm. the husband would take over and, and do the care, then the woman would rest, mm. then when the man has 
uh, also maybe inspired, then they exchange, and, uh, and it helped them a lot. The child is improving, it's getting better. Thank you, Jonas. Now, it's not an easy situation we are discussing, because you see it is involving um, parents putting so much attention on this child. Don't you think that these other children will be neglected if there are other children in the home? Mm. If they are taking turns, this one is taking care of the child and the other one is taking care of the child, isn't there a possibility that this marriage will lose the emotional tie of their parents? What should we do to make sure that the other children are not neglected and the marriage is not neglected as well, mm. much as this child is given attention? Right. Yes, indeed. Uh, I think it, uh, and, and I don't think it happens deliberately mm -hmm. that the, you know the parents will lose the, the touch with the other children, mm. uh, or that their marriage that they want it their marriage to go down. Process just, by process. Yes, right, <laughs> gradually. If they are not aware, yes. or if they don't remain conscious mm. of what they are going through. Mm. So for me, I think uh, when when parents have a, a child of special needs in the home, it should the, the whole family should be aware. The yes. whole the whole family, including the other children, mm. should be. There should be communication between the parents and Actually, the children. Actually, they should be mobilized. Yes, exactly. At, at every moment, uh, because this child should be going through development stages like they did, like mm -hmm. the other children did. Mm -hmm. But because they will not do that, the other children need to be um, allowed to understand why their sibling is mm -hmm. not going through the same things that they did, That's or right. why the parents are paying extra attention mm -hmm. uh, to the child. So I think there is a level of consciousness, mm -hmm. you know, deliberate consciousness on the part of the parents that we have this challenge in our home. Mm. And uh, one, also to accept that they can't do it by themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, special needs child is, is not a, a, a one man's, you know, uh, yes. show. Mm. The parents need to be able to, to get the siblings to understand mm. what's going on. Mm. Even those relatives who will come to visit, they need to be able to get somebody whom they can rely on. Mm. You know, sometimes I have seen um, uh, friends of ours who come and say, you know what, talk to my child for me. My, and these are, these are no cho children who are not having any special needs. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe they have a challenge at school, or you know, grades are going down, or there's some issue with a teen. And the parents come and say, you know what, Daisy, talk to this person for me. Talk to this uh, this boy. Mm. That should also now, happen with special needs. Special Seek needs. for help. Yes. Now you brought out that very important point where parents come and they're asking you to talk to yeah. to the child. Mm. I must say that the levels of autism and physical and mental disability, they are at different levels. True. You will find that that child you think is, is free from autism mm. is having it. You right. know, I, I have a, a relative who has a hand that keeps shaking. Right. She doesn't take it as a physical disability, mm. but she, she has a hand that is shaking. Mm. You will be counting money and the money will be falling out of the hand, but Everybody thinks that is a physical disability. Mm. So to acknowledge the different levels yeah. and, and know that mm. every child needs support. Mm. I like the idea of creating a support system. Mm. You know, when you have a child that <coughs> is mentally or physically disabled or that is autistic, as parents I would encourage you, mobilize support. First of all, understand that there is a problem. Mm. And this problem can be overcome. I have seen children with autistic children overcome, right. overcome the challenge, and they grow out of it. Yes. I've also seen children with physical and mental disability adjust to the situation, mm -hmm. and they can operate the new normal life right. in their condition, but free from suffering and, 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 yeah. and uh, other challenges. And so they encourage parents, create a support system this support system is going to help your mental health. Mm. It's going to, to stop the, the, the diverging gap, the, the expanding gap between you and the spouse and between you and the children. So when you have other people coming in to support you, they may be medical, they mm. may be relatives, mm. they may be family Absolutely. members. You Friends. as a couple, you will have time to right, for yes. each other. Yeah. Yes. And what Jessica mentioned also is very key. You acknowledge that God knows this child. She just didn't just come or he from uh, the, the, the sky. The child came to you as parents with full knowledge of God. And so God has a plan for this child. And he himself will give you the grace sure. to raise this child up to when 
he himself says, I can do a miracle for this child. Mm. And so we are going for a short break. We will come back to look at uh, the impact of special needs children on the marriages and what we can do to support the child and to keep our marriages vibrant. See you after the break. Welcome back from the break. And uh, if we can recap, we were discussing about, uh, in the beginning, we talked about the causes of autism, okay? And uh, we mentioned that uh, in most cases, research has said it is passed on to this child during the breastfeeding period. And it is basically the emotional state of the mother. If she was having trauma during her growing up, during the pregnancy, if she was having a mental breakdown or neurological something, during that time of pregnancy and breastfeeding, this condition of neurological and mental uh, and uh, other breakdowns, they come to this child and they are hyper. So it is an emotional, neurological and uh, mental breakdown. Now, if those are the conditions that research has given us, Okay. We've discovered the research says that can be the condition. There is another research that says, you know, too much exposure of the nervous system to strange, unacceptable environment of the, to the child will also cause a neurological breakdown. Mm. For instance, uh, what is that that you mentioned? Lead. Lead, lead. okay. Too much lead, too much mercury, to a lack of vitamin B12, and so many other conditions if they lead to the, the research. Why should some people come up with their own theories and myth, more especially the African tradition? You mentioned to us some of the beliefs. Can you share with the, with the viewers? What are those beliefs that Africans think causes autism, mental and physical uh, disability? Well, thank you, Grace. Uh, many people will not accept and believe that actually that child has come from God and they will start blaming others. Either you blame a neighbor, or you blame a singer mm -hmm. who did not go to go yes. or you blame an uncle who on your kuhinjira came late and was and given... And they say a, he was not happy during he, the function. He was, not, he was not given what he expected, mm -hmm. or you blame a neighbor uh, who... Uh, where you, uh, the boundary is... is, is, is uh, there's a conflict on the boundary mm -hmm. of land. So many times, and when that happens, and you start blaming people. And, and they go for witchcraft. You go to witchcraft, you uh, fail to go and uh, get medical, get proper medical attention, attention, so that you are advised on how wow. to take of the child. You end up stressing yourself mm. and getting in trouble and getting in conflict with everyone. Mm. And you not even get the support system. Mm. There is a talked about. Because, because you're because fighting you're everyone. You're fighting everyone. You're fighting the singer, you're fighting the uncle, you're fighting the neighbor. Uh, there's a time my neighbor had uh, a sick child and she was going to school. Mm. And she would leave the child with me. But if you're fighting with a neighbor, you cannot, you cannot. get the, the neighbor's <coughs> child to sit with your child when you're going somewhere. Mm. So it's just to know and accept so t t tell the viewers, uh, when you don't get proper medical attention and you believe it is witchcraft and you are, you are busy fighting, what is likely to happen to the family, to the children and to you? Uh, could you be isolated? True. Could your mental health, you know? You, you, you can also break down mm. and become, get a mental problem. Mm. Uh, you have enemies left and right mm. because whoever you look at, you think is an enemy. Yes. Your children will not play with other people's children. And you are so isolated. you live in isolation. You will not be able to live in a community where then you sink into depression. You sink into depression and then disaster. Yes. Because now if you're in depression, even the other ones will get trouble. Even the childhood you'll be taking care of. Mm. You will not have the time to take care of that child. Mm. Even in your own home, mm. if you say it's your husband's relative, mm. the, 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 your relationship with them will, will be, be dented. Cut. Even mm. with your husband will mm. be dented. Mm. Because you'll think it's the singer, it's the sister who came and I didn't give her tea. Mm. And you know, there's a lot of confusion and actually you, you can get a mental problem. 
Now, you as uh, our, 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 our team, you have heard, if you happen to get a, men a mental, mentally uh, special needs child, okay, who has had a mental health issue, who has had uh, uh, that neurological, who is autistic, who has a physical disability, don't run to blame people for bewitching your child. Go look for special, for specialized uh, health uh, facility. Go and look for specialized treatment from the medical facility. Talk to us. Uh, yes, I, I think that the myths really divert us from, from the point mm. that we have to take care of this child mm. uh, and to seek help instead of sending away what could be potentially helpful for mm. us. Mm. <clears throat> so um, I agree with what uh, Jessica and, 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 and Grace have been saying. Mm. Look for help. Look for, and today we are, we are lucky that we have uh, all many sources of help. We hear, we, we see, we watch programs on TV like this one. Mm. Uh, we have the, the internet. Uh, there's, there's medical facilities uh, all around us. Go and seek for help, mm. uh, at least to understand what is going on from a medical point of view, from a physical, biological point of view. And then you can take it on from there mm. to see if you're getting help. And also you can go and seek for counseling. I mean, mm. uh, it's, it's, a, it's a heavy thing to, for do, to you deal to with. Yes. Mm. Seek for, don't forget to seek for counseling, mm. either from a friend, from, a, from an old uh, auntie, or from somebody at church. Or from the some medical practitioners, scientists, but who are also counselors, and they'll be able to help you to understand what you're going through. Okay, Daisy, uh, Jessica touched a little bit about the denial mm. that, that comes with an autistic child. Right. And I want, there well, was a lady who told me that, oh my God, my dreams have been shattered mm. because of this child. I want you to tell us what happens to the women and call men to support because it normally happens <laughs> that when this child has come it is the lady's career which gets yes, shattered because, because no one can take mm. care of this child right. for you and so the careers are shattered mm. meanwhile uh, other people are living in denial and they get a prison and they lock up this right. child somewhere mm. tell the viewers yeah, it's, uh, it's, I think, unfortunate that uh, certain challenges come and they seem overwhelming uh, mm. to us. Mm. You know, they, they sort of like it is disempower us and, and we feel that this is the end of the world. Mm. I think that uh, when you have a child who has special needs in the family, on, on looking at the, try to look for the bright side. And the mm. bright side could be that you might change your career. Yes. You might, you might seek to understand what is going on with the child and therefore study, mm. uh, you know, st do uh, some more study, course. yes, related mm. course. And I think there are people who have actually um, uh, succeeded. They, mm -hmm. they changed careers completely. They were able to look after their child or children and uh, other children as well, other people's children. Mm. And the career has sprung out of that. Wow. And I think that, that that is a very positive thing. I think that is great positivity. Oh, yes. Mm. yes. Um, also, I think that uh, we... I, I, and I'm, again, I'm not, an, I'm not as an expert as well in counselling, but I think that uh, when we accept uh, what is placed before us, mm -hmm. I think that triggers God something in the gives mind. You the grace. Yes, exactly. You're, you're given the grace to actually um, understand what is going on and seek solutions. I mm. think our problem, maybe as parents who have special needs children, is that we we don't look for solutions mm. we try to look for the reasons why mm. but that should lead us to solutions you don't stop at reasons why this happened or that didn't happen mm. i think we need to be able to go to the solutions and uh, I, you, you mentioned the careers i think mothers yes um i mean ordinarily she, she started to be <laughs> an electrical or civil engineer yes and now she's Stuck. She's stuck, yes. Mm -hmm. But I think that God gave women a, a good gift. We multitask. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are able to multitask. So I think that it's, it's important for a lady who's having these challenges at home, especially needs children, to begin to open their mind up to, you know, can I multitask? Can I do this and that? Or can I do more of one thing and less of the other? We work at home these days. Mm -hmm. I think that's a very good uh, and positive yes, uh, solution to a challenge like this. Mm -hmm. Uh, so careers shouldn't stop. No, I don't think that should be the case. Oh, careers okay. shouldn't stop, but you can be able to, you know, manage to um, multitask and see how to get things done. Well, we are winding up, and uh, in just two sentences, Jessica, can you look in the camera? Actually, one. Look in the camera and tell viewers what you want them, like you take home, concerning this topic of the children who have this day. Let, 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 let me present it again. It's caused by a deep anxiety, right? 
very deep anxiety, nervous and mental system disordered. Mm. That is autism. Then physically disabled, something happens. Mm. Can you assure the viewers that these children can come out and be something so they should not be thrown behind the house? Yes, uh, viewers and parents, don't lock your children, don't put them in the underground prison. Uh, there are schools that are there for the disabled, there are schools for children who have autism, special needs, special needs children, mm -hmm. and many <coughs> children have gone through and have been successful. Thank you. Thank My you. only uh, request is men support your wives. Thank you. Many times you abandon the to the wives. Support your wives, love your children, they are your children, that's your blood. Mm. Support them and they will come out to be successful and you will not believe it. Thank you, you, Jessica, thank you, thank you, thank you. Who knows that that is a test for you but from God right. to see how best you can. Mm. Actually, if you stand together as a couple mm. and build a support system and raise up this child, you will bring the best out of each other. Right. Mm. And your bond for this marriage mm. can be so much stronger, stronger mm. rather than this child tear you yeah. apart. Yeah. Daisy, how can people with special needs create strong families and raise the other children without feeling there is a gap in between? Yes, I think one, uh, most importantly, go to God, turn to God, Thank seek you. God's uh, wisdom on, mm. on how to deal with uh, the challenges you've been given. Mm. Don't leave him out. It is important, both uh, father, mother, and all the children. And teach the child also, if you're able to teach this child also to go to God, because they will be wondering why they are different from the others. Mm. Uh, secondly, communicate. Mm. I think that the family needs to talk, 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 talk about what is going on. Mm. And when there's challenges, when there's stresses, when even finances can become a problem, yes. treatment and whatnot, talk about it and see where to go, who to look, who, you know, who to go to for help. Mm. Don't don't just put things up mm. and, and say, you know, this is a, this is not a punishment. It is not thank a punishment. You, yes. You. And I think finally for the moms, uh, the young ladies, all those who are, have career dreams, and then you get this challenge. It is not the end of the world. You mm. can put a hold for a, for a few a few years maybe and then go back to it. Don't give up. Just see how you can manage. Or look for a job yeah, exactly. that is online. Exactly. That yes, can exactly. support Precisely. you to get some money yes. as well as give this challenge. Yes, don't give up. Very mm -hmm. Well, uh, we are concluding like this. Children with special needs must never be a reason as to why you're breaking up in the family. Mm. It should be a, 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 a condition that will create a bond between the two of you, your family network, your children, to bring the best out of each other as you take care of this child. Secondly, create a very positive environment in the home where this child is growing. Create so much positivity. Engage this child in those small, small things that they will be enjoying. And by the grace of God, mm. the future of this child can only be determined by God. Mm. I thank you so much. Uh, if you like this video, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want to comment or to present a discussion or make an appointment, go to our YouTube channel, Marriage and Life Stories with Kansime. We will reach out to you if you drop us your comment there. Thank you so much. God bless you.